Welcome to the National Motor Museum at Bewley here in Hampshire. The National Motor Museum was founded by Edward Montague, the third Baron of Bewley, as a tribute to his father, John Scott Montague, who was a motoring pioneer and was famed for being the first person to drive a motor car into the House of Common Yard. He also introduced the royal family into motoring by allowing the then Prince of Wales to drive a motor car in the 1890s and that person was to become Edward VII. At first the collection consisted of just five cars and a small amount of automobilia which was housed in the entrance hall of Lord Montague's ancestral home, Palace House Bewley. But such was its popularity that it soon outgrew Palace House and was moved into wooden sheds close to the house and that was the formation of the Montague Motor Museum. The reputation and popularity of Bewley's collection continued to grow and by 1959 the museum had nearly 300,000 annual visitors. In 1964 was a pivotal year in the museum's history. Annual attendances now exceeded half a million and a decision was taken to create a purpose-built museum in a building in the grounds of the Bewley Estate. A design committee chaired by the distinguished polymath artist Sir Hugh Cousins was created to drive the project and the architect Leonard Manasseh was given the contract to design the building. The new purpose-built museum building in the parkland surrounding Palace House Bewley was opened on the 4th of July 1972 by the Duke of Kent. It was renamed the National Motor Museum, reflecting its change of status from a private collection to a charitable trust and highlighting Lord Montague's stated aim to provide Britain with a National Motor Museum worthy of the great achievements of its motoring history. An unusual feature of the new museum building in 1972 was its monorail passing through the interior of the building. This was inspired by the US Pavilion at the Expo 67 exhibition, which had a light railway running through it. Containing thousands of genuine motoring items. The museum houses over 200 vehicles, including veteran and vintage motors, sports and racing cars. Housing a collection of over 200 automobiles and motorcycles, telling the story of motoring on the roads of Britain and from the dawn of motoring to the present day, the award-winning National Motor Museum appeals to all age groups. From the world land speed record breakers including Campbell's famous Bluebird, to film favourites such as the magical flying car Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Like all modern museums, there are themed displays such as Motorsport Gallery, Wheels Ride and the Jack Tucker Garage. The motorcycle story immerses of the visitor in a ride through motorcycle history and the human quest for freedom, individuality and the desire to win. For the first time, machines are displayed in the historical and cultural context, tying technology, technological development and changing trends in fashion, style and sport. The motorcycle story covers five key periods in the evolution of motorcycling in its themed displays. Early motorcycle is a display tracing the transition from pedal power to petrol power. By 1914, there were around 200 British motorcycle manufacturers. This area of the motorcycle story includes some of the earliest examples of motorcycles which evolved from the bicycle craze of the 1890s. In service focuses on the many tasks taken on by the motorcycle, which were previously carried out by horses. These range from delivering telegrams to the post office, as roadside patrols to the AA and the RAC, and serving in the armed forces for two world wars, 
to their continued use today across the emergency services. The rock and roll years looks at two wheel transport during the 1950s and 60s. Motorbikes remained the affordable means of personal transport for many, particularly the young. This period saw the growth of popularity of the scooter. Influenced by movies and popular music, youth culture in Britain adopted either motorcycles, the rockers, or motor scooters, the mods, as their preferred method of transport. Wherever it is on the road, track or grass, the world of motorcycle sport was, and continues to be, a fast and glamorous one. Motorcycles have been used in competitive events almost since they were invented. This area of the motorcycle story has exhibits from the Isle of Man TT races, MotoGP, motocross, trials and grass track. More than any other form of motorised transport, motorcycles pursued performance. This collection features the 1970 Honda CB750KO, Honda's first four-cylinder road bike and one of the first expressions of what we now call superbikes. The contemporary Yamaha R6 represents today's lighter, faster machines. Beauty's iconic land speed record cars tell a story of British pluck, technological mastery and national pride. From the first official land speed record in 1898 to the modern supersonic era, engineers and drivers have strived to push back technological barriers in the quest to be the fastest on earth. Some have paid the ultimate price. This quintessentially British story is brought to life in a moving audio-visual presentation, transporting you back to the golden age of invention, courage and patriotism, and in introducing you to those who are keeping Britain's record-breaking dream alive today. Why do they do it? In the words of the former British land speed record holder, Richard Noble, for Britain and the hell of it. It is impossible in a short video to show you how unique our collection is here at Bewley. But I hope that I have whetted your appetite and you will come and visit us again sometime. I know you will enjoy it.